Welcome back to our coverage here of the Battle of Malta 2019. We're on day 1B. I'm joined by this colourful man, Mr. John Hess. Laura, nice Hello, to see you. Hello, nice to see you. So, John, over two years ago, nobody knew who you were, but I imagine coming here yesterday, you are getting so much attention. How has that been the last two years? Well, it's been quite remarkable. I never expected to ever have this number of people wanting to sort of have pictures taken with me and talk to me, but uh, it's great. And I think, you know, as far as I'm concerned, you know, you know, they see me and their face lights up and smile. And of course, I think that's good. How has your life changed since that deep run in the WSOP? Well, I, I could easily say it hasn't changed at all. Okay. But of course, my, my life has changed to the point where I've become much more wealthy financially. I was quite wealthy without the money and I'm still wealthy without the money because money isn't the be all and end all of life and I've got you know I've got family and friends at home. I like to play just a few poker tournaments a year and this is one I've selected to come because you guys kind of invited me along and I think it's going pretty well at the moment. Yeah, what do you think of Malta so far? You've been here a couple of days now. The people of Malta, I think they're great. I mean in fact I, I put something on my Facebook page actually the other day to say, you know, that Malta, uh, Malta actually got the George Cross during World War II for the immense destruction, heavy bombing it received, more unfortunate bombs dropped on it than it, at any other place on the planet and I think the Maltese people really did a good job in holding out. So let's talk about the poker, you've sat down today, day 1B, how's it going for you so far? Well, it's remarkable. I went on the feature table, I was moved from table 31 to on the feature table and it, I was just getting the cards, I was getting wonderful cards, I was raising, check raising, everything. I'd got really well chipped up, well above 50,000, you know, within sort of an hour. Uh, and then of course I've got moved from the feature table to table 31 and I've, all I've done is just go... Yeah, it's I, the 31, it's 13 backwards, the table of death. Okay, uh, it's, <laughs> this is poker. I fear I probably had all my running on the feature table. So whether or not the feature table has some part to play in that, I don't know, but it certainly helped with the cards. Trying to survive through day one. And can I just ask you one last question? How many people have now tried on this jacket? Because I know I'm one of them, a lot. Well, yes, indeed. It's a, uh, I, I quite enjoy like, allowing people to try my jacket on. In fact, they, they smile as well, we take pictures, and it's nice to see that it's not just me being um, photographed in this and uh, people like yourself do. Did you see the picture we took last night? It was a nice pic, wasn't it? It really suits you, it really suits you. <laughs> Don't you think? Yes. Um, Where did you get this jacket made? Who did it well, for you? No, the, these jackets are available. Um, they can be bought online and from uh, an undisclosed ma maker. And to be fair, I, I choose to cut their label off and put my own label on. Which, of course, you can see those. John has fun fact. One last pro tip if you could sell any caravan to someone, you know, best value for money, which caravan should they go for? Ah, uh, well, no, I've got to be politically correct on this one because the uh, uh, Bridlington Caravans, which is my own company back in Bridlington, East Yorkshire, uh, back in my own hometown, I, I deal with a number of different manufacturers and they are all very good. For example, uh, Willoughby, Swift, uh, and indeed Aronbrook and Atlas. Very diplomatic. Those are four manufacturers that we represent, and notwithstanding that, we also represent another company called Victory. So I think I've got them all now. <laughs> and to be fair, there are quite a number of money. Really <laughs> I could put lots of patches on, but incidentally, you probably noticed I am, I am wearing this patch. And I don't know whether or not it, it, it's certainly if I, I checked it out before I wore it. You're not a lady last no. time I checked. No, but it's not for profit, and as long as it's not for profit, I'm hopefully. Uh, welcome to more ladies coming into the game. In fact, it would be nice to see you and I having a heads-up game sometime, maybe this week. Oh, well, I'll take you on on that. Would you like to do that? <laughs> you think we should? Watch this space. Thank you so much, John Hess, and good luck. Always have fun. Absolutely. <laughs>